Hey everyone, Meosity here, welcome back. Today on the Darkest Modded File, we're going to try to kill the Dwimmer Lake, however you might pronounce that. So let's get to it, it's in the cove, it's a short dungeon, so hopefully we can get to it relatively easily. I don't have too much money for supplies because I was upgrading the heroes, so hopefully that won't come to bite us in the butt. Probably going to have to make this into a Darkest a torchless run we're just gonna take what we can and we'll have seven gold left these salt soaked caverns are teeming with pelagic nightmares so just in case it's up here we're gonna go check or a battle room you never know otherwise i'm just kind of hoping in the future i can get a uh anquintarian soon so i can go and get some actual money because at first I was doing kind of good, and now I'm running really short. At this point, I'm just going to sell the torch. Cruel machinations spring to life. All right, these spiderlings are back. So let's be spile them, trying to uh, whittle them down a little bit. Nope. All right. The glass is going to explode. However, might as well get it over with quick. And bonk it. At least the stone didn't hurt us. I'll give it that. And it does try to bleed them too, which is interesting. Alright, so... Let's try to take out the stone now so we don't get stunned. Like that. Not sure this will do its job, but we did get one blight, that's good. Taking out the stone. And just to heal her up. Alright, we got this. Might go into stress mode pretty quickly, but you know, whatever. Let's add our kiss, get that blight on him. Now we just got the other maggot, which, there we go. And we can use this turn to heal up. There's another glass flute, just in case we need it. Probably should have, uh, ceased later. Interesting. Alright, so we're gonna move him back. Move her back. Going to hopefully... Eh, we won't get the madman. And... I suppose just moving him up and get... or her up and getting the guard. Alright, round two. Five rounds, so we're gonna have to get through him. I do have a plan, though, so... Uh, let's try to stun him. Nope. Okay. Light? Alright. He's re-guarding again. Uh, let's blight him again. 
and that will almost take him out. I wonder if that's all he does is protect and repost. Well, that'll kill him. And that'll kill... Oh, no, it won't kill the maggot. Stun the madman so he can't stress us out anymore. And... Let's see what we can do here. I forgot about that again. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. All right, let's see what's in that chest. Heirloom chest. You gotta just open it. I guess the shovel doesn't work anymore. Moving on along. Use our one shovel that we brought. Good, we got a stalwart. That'll help out tremendously. Got some more spiders. Ew. So, for now, we're gonna have him absolution. Um. Gonna pass with her. Just so we can move the Vestal up a little bit, hopefully. Okay, kind of figured that would be a thing. Really, the Vestal first. Alright. And then I guess we're gonna go at the aquatic to try to take it out. Oof. I really am surprised that she's faster than everyone else right now. Kind of throwing me for a bit of a loop. If that's a restoration, let's just try to take out the aquatic again. Give them no quarter. Alright, he can finally move. Add her kiss the stone, taking it out. Try to stun the glass again. Didn't work, but that's fine. And hopefully taking out the glass. Light will. And absolution because we can. That'll help out a bit. I was curious if it would come up from zero. I guess not. Foolish horrors brought low and driven into the mud. All right. So here, I want to. Ah, uh, let's actually stun one. Nope. All right. Since he's going f or she's going first, let's light this one. Hopefully, killing it. We can then add her kiss. Maybe taking out the other grouper. 
and then stun him. Just leaving those two left. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. All right. So let's take out the shaman. Put one on the guardian. Uh, because we can take out the shaman again. And he's not gonna get stunned, so let's just heal up and damage him. And now just take him out. I feel like I could probably use this chance to heal. Move resist, but minus speed. Let's de-stress her with that. I will take all of that. Let's see what this gives us. Alright. Not horrible. Alright. More spiders. Lovely. Uh, just because I don't want the Vestal in front, we're going to not add her kiss. A dizzying blow to body and brain. That's a lot of stuff right off the bat. <laughs> Gonna try to blight with him. See what we can do. Absolutely nothing. Considering one only has a 10% resistance to, that's bad. Really, she can't do that, huh? And now everyone's in position, so we're good. Um, I suppose we'll just do this, trying to get that glass. And with her... Let's get the aquatic. Because then we can do this. Getting the glass, healing up. I know we're going to explode, doing a little bit of damage, and then bleeding people. And then he try to stun the stone. Yeah, let's just put more damage on it. Add her kiss. Picking it out. And I don't think this is going to be enough damage, and the requisite might be bad. However, I suppose let's just go for it. Oh, there's that thing again. That astral spiderling or whatever. So let's heal up. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, um... Really? Okay, we have to heal. Otherwise she's in danger. And this just got up teen times worse. I'm not sure about leaving there here in human form, so let's go for broke. And then, what's Rake gonna do? 
not enough. So I'm gonna try to go for the Astral here and take it out and see if that stops all the summoning. Uh, let's Impale. Hopefully that will do enough to this Sword Spiderling with between the damage and the Blight. You're kidding me. What is this? Teetering on the brink, facing the abyss. This is no place for the weak or foolhardy. What in the unholy hell is happening? These spiders are vicious. Okay, uh, we're just gonna get the rake damage up going. Oh my. Okay. Dimensional healing? Because they don't have enough healing? <laughs> okay, you know what? I, I need to use that loot. And one and three, so we're fine from that standpoint. I should stun the stone so I don't get stunned. Didn't work. Five damage. I come on, buddy. All right, awesome. A moment of clarity. Let, let's get rid of that bleed because that's kind of bad for now, and see about taking them out. And hopefully, no more spiders come out. I'm gonna blow a gasket. So I, I need to kill- Oh no, okay. I see, I see. I think. Dodge. There we go. Oh boy. Well, I got most of my stuff back. I think I lost one of the Charms of the Isles, but that's fine. And I'm not scouting, and there's a possibility of that boss being up there, so yeah, no. What? What was that? <laughs> well, 11,000 gold that we needed, some heirlooms that we needed. It looks like these Maybe those flutes can't be stored, so... Party. Or max HP, I'll take it. A Got a flagellant. Delusion. That could be good. A thousand lifetimes. So bef I'm not sure I can check it from here. So before I really go into anything, I just want to double check. There's another thing for spiders in the cove, huh? I'll, I'll check that out in just a second. 
Oh, uh, I, I just wanted to verify that. Yes, okay. So the spider flutes do not carry over. So they are a use it or lose it. So, all right. Gather the lost shipments after the... After spiders started nesting in the caves, the villagers abandoned five shipments filled with critical supplies. Recover these shipments and avoid becoming dinner. Gather five relics in a long dungeon. Get the Astral Staff of Summoning Wand. This unusual staff is hard to focus on and emits an unsettling hum. On friendly skill, chance to summon an, a charmed Astral Spider. And that's part of the Spider Hunter set. Hmm. Doesn't seem like anything you would particularly want unless you're going into one of the spider dungeons. Uh, we can go at Sonner's Prophet, or we can try for the Dwimmer Lake again. Burr, buddy. And Stagecoach, Highwayman, Leper, Man at Arms. I do want the Man at Arms and another. The raw strength of youth may be spent. But his eyes hold the secrets of a hundred campaigns. All right, so. I'm not sure how. Go about a few things here. Damage versus marked. Mark, bleed. So someone here had damage versus bleeding. The Wraith. Damage versus mark, damage versus bleeding. Okay. Click, click, click. Let's try for the Dwimmer Lake again. I think he was best in spot two. What about you here? Only use these at slots, so we're gonna put you there, meaning we probably need to get rid of Blackjack, or we can keep Blackjack and we'll just lose opportunity of uh, doing some stuff and who do we put in fourth slot then that is the question we're in the warrens we're chance to get blighted chance to get bleeding chance to get stunned and some stress so let's go with her and see what happens especially because we don't have the original team there that thing being in there too Let's get that, and let's get that. That's really all I plan on using. Get that up on him. I don't think I have sap, so... Upgrade these, and Houndmaster. Upgrade those. Alright, let's see if we can get ourselves a Dwimmer Lake. What's this? Golem only. Eight accuracy. Although that's kind of a bad, uh... <laughs> if he misses, he takes damage. Not sure we need anything else for here. Maybe some medicinal herbs. So, we'll go with that. They breed quickly down there in the dark. But perhaps we can slay them even faster. Alright, so I'm guessing we uh, should check out this way first. Since he has a high bleed resistance, we'll do that. Might as well get the torch. will find no clemency in this place. They want to eat already, wow. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. All right, so four more rooms. More spiders. I'm kind of not liking these things. Um, let's heal some stress. Uh, they really can't be bled too much. I'm guessing the Wraith can take out the sword. What was that? Oh, the wisdom, I'm assuming. 
That's kind of cool. As the theme falls, a faint hope blossoms. Four percent protection. <laughs> That's not much. I suppose I could have cured the bleed too, but... Alright, let's uh, get started on him. And then... There we go. Now we just have this one left. Let's try to pull it in range. Nope. So what can we do to it? Devastating blow. Well, we bled it, that's for sure. I think that'll take it out. does this give us 30% damage until camp on our main damage dealer I will take that all right so I would very much like to get him in range we are going to get them bled for later Marking him. And let's finish up. Destroyed. Yuck. Kawasaki's disease. Debuff chance and damage received, okay. Well, let's get rid of some blight. The blood pumps, the limbs obey. Bleed them some more, if we can. Mark this one to take it out. And down he goes. Annihilated. Now get rid of that blight. Lead them again. I think that means he's gonna die in his turn, just leaving the wretch so he can do this. Gotta love that. And now let's do this. Alright. Take what we can. Let's heal him up a bit. And move along. It lets us. Lovely. Alright, well. Waiting to be spent. How did he get a disease out of that? Twine right. That's new. So, first I'm gonna try to bleed them all. And we'll go from there. Uh, we are gonna heal him. Um... Let's try to bleed the slasher too. That'll take him out. Gross. Brand, okay. Does two damage to his own ally, but then. Oh! Okay, he's going away. Unforeseen. 
Um, let's get some stress down. Like I said, he's going away. Give them no quarter. We are going to target mark him, so we do the most amount of damage we can. And Piggy goes away. Generated. Just leaving this one. Pulling him in range. And down he goes. Take what we can. As victories mount, so too will resistance. Oh, uh, we're just gonna leave that alone. Doesn't look like we can do much. Wealth beyond measure, awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. I think it's him who has the best chance. Nope, Houndmaster. All right. New background, I like this one. And survey says blockages are unsurprising. These tunnels predate even the earliest settlers. Alright, let's do this. Bleed them out. probably get him down pretty good. That'll be five around, so in two turns he dies. Let's get stress of him down. The next round he dies. We go at him, probably killing him, just leaving the Acolyte. Pulling her in range. And the bleed will kill her on her turn. So, let's see if we can't heal a little bit. Slowly, nope. This is how a life is taken. That can debuff them? Interesting. Decimated. Skeleton key. Final Devourer, but no Dwimmer Lake. Plus 100% bleed amount versus marked. Gains Aegis at 50% HP. Huh. Alright, so I, I think I want to get rid of everything here before the Devour. That sounds wrong. I'm not sure that's a good choice now. Um, But yeah, we're gonna... Try to destroy everything before the Devourer and see what happens. Why can he not eat the Doggy Treat? He still has a Doggy Treat, okay. One, so let's take one of these out. Oof. That can only hit there, so let's do this. A singular strike. That'll take out the drummer. He can then get rid of the bleeding. I know that he can't use a special move then, but that is what it is. The Black Plague. Jeez, these pigs. Alright, so I think what I'm going to do is try to take out this wretch here and then try to move the Spinal Devourer in range. Or actually, 110. So let's stun him. Now, with her, we're going to move him in range. Oh, we can't move him, okay. 
Uh, this is the only way to hit him. Let's try to clear some corpses. Another debuff, which is really nice. And then, doubt this will do anything to him, but... Alright, now we can start getting at him really good. We can... Debuff him more. Mark him. And lay into him. Good. Alright. Well, no Dwimmer Lake, but I'll take it. Well, we got our Gleaming Visor, got more gold, which we need, and more heirlooms. Everyone's level 1. Kane here obviously needs to go to the Treatment Center. Observant and Menacing. The hero has a chance to debuff the enemy group. Interesting. Kind of liking some of these new uh, quirks. We dug for months, years, an eternity, and we were rewarded with madness. He proclaims that his cause is noble and his ends just his means, but to what length will he go to achieve them? An arsonist. <laughs> Unholy hater, lazy eye. So he throws multiple cocktails that are flaming things, but his accuracy sucks? Lovely. <laughs> I do want him and I do see that our roster is actually full now, which is kind of bad. So, and we can't actually... Or we can't upgrade it, so there we go. I do want to ch one of these. I would like another. One must know it. Um, I'd like to play around with the Hellion. I'm not. I know I don't play them very well, but I'd like to try them out. And there's an arsonist for us. An engineer of the all-consuming power of fire and feats of unhinged cunning. So he has a lot. <laughs> I'm almost thinking it might be better to let this guy go. Because Kawasaki's disease, Sithis, I'm I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that right. Dodge, minus damage, minus food consumed in the Black Plague. So that's three turns before we can even get him in stress relief. I mean, that's a long time before we can use a level one hero again. And he's taking up the medical ward. Let's get started on it, I guess. No one else needs it for now. And then I don't believe we have enough to upgrade anything else that I would like to. Oh, we do have enough for the training regimen. We don't have um, has a weakness. level threes yet. Wise hero trains for what he will face. I would like to find that Dwimmer Lake. I think I'm going to go back to the cove next before I head back into the Sunward Isles. However, and actually with us having the Houndmaster, it might be interesting to throw a Seraph in there. Um, That's another Spider Hunter thing, huh? How many things are in that set? But I think that will be something for next time. And what is a Baki... Kujira? I know I'm butchering half of these names and I feel really bad about it, but it also makes me very curious. There are so many things that this added. <laughs> but yeah, I probably will just keep hunting this thing until I find it, and then we'll hop back into the Sunward Isles just to keep exploring that and see what we can find, and solidify some more teams, and then head into the courtyard and the farmstead, I'm thinking, is the first order of business. After that, you know, just keep seeing what we can do for upgrades around the hamlet and districts because I'm not sure when we're next going to get any of this stuff. Um, I'm guessing this thing here is from the Sunward Isles, but I'm not entirely sure on that. Uh, blueprints are obviously from, I think it's veteran level and up bosses. And then this is from the farmstead, so I'm very confused about this spawns one mill token stuff every week. I didn't actually, oh, I don't have one that does that, so I can't really see what that does yet. But otherwise, we're going to keep looking for people that we can use in 
good situations. Just keep hunting. So that'll be it for this time. Um, if anyone has suggestions and things they'd like to see or just on how to handle some of this DLC stuff, because as you can see, uh, spiders are absolutely wrecking me. I was not expecting one of those double summoning circle things. I'm assuming that's what's going to happen in this lost shipment thing here. So yeah, and I'm expecting that to get worse or if I find the brood mother thing that they were talking about episode or two back. Please throw that down in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about that. Otherwise, you kind of know my plan for now, and we'll call it that. As always, I wish you all well. See you next time, and have a good one.